Thank you for that indelible mark which you have granted him to lay it. Why of this church militant? Thank you for the wife. Thank you for the children. Thank you for the family members, both mutually and extended, gathered together to take money to celebrate a new life. Father, so that thanks and praises in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we are gathered together in this funeral rite, knowing fully well around you there's nothing we can do. Or through you, by you, in you, we want to do what are our expectation. And therefore, we commit this funeral service unto you, right from the start to the end. Who is the divine woman? Have your way. Manifest yourself in this service. Guide us appropriately. Demand your servant that you are going to use to feed us on the root and the root of service. Father, we pray, grant unto him function to function. Power to deliver. During this prayer right, O Lord, we pray, let there be salvation. Let there be testimony. Let there be breakthrough. And those who are coming to join us in this service, is in their moment here. So that the close of everything today, when everything is brought again, let your name alone be praised. And the blessed day and be our portion. For we pray in Jesus' name. The family is prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be now our heart as it is in heaven. Give us these days our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, and forgive us our trespasses, and this is not a temptation, but we are from evil, for God is the kingdom, the power and glory, forever and ever. Amen. This service, general service in respect of our Father and the Lord, Pastor Ajiwari, the Father, the second book written by the God of Mauritius, chapter 5, verses 1 through 8. Second Corinthians, chapter 5, verses one through eight. Second Corinthians five. One to eight. For we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have the building of God, a house not made with hands eternal in the heavens. For in this we grow in a sweet desire to be clothed upon with our house which is from heaven. So be that being clothed, we shall not be found naked. For we that are in this tabernacle, we grow in body, not for that we will be unclothed, but clothed. Upon that mortality, by the swoop and swallow of life. Now he that brought us from the self safe the meaning God, who was forgiven of us the earnest of the Spirit. Therefore, we are always confident, knowing that while we are at home in the body, we are absent from the Lord. For we walk by faith, not by sight. That's it. That's it. We are confident. 
I say, I'm willing rather to be absent from the body and to be present with the Lord. The Lord bless the reading and the hearing of his voice and lies in Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, shout hallelujah. hallelujah. If you are happy to be there, shout one powerful hallelujah. hallelujah. Amen. Amen. We are not money here. Yeah? We are celebrating the life of our brother, our father, that was well spent in the Lord. And so we are not mourning. Though no one wants his uh, beloved one to live, but he pleases the Lord to take him home this time around. And so we, we are here to celebrate his life when he was on earth. And when I went and I flipped through the biography of this great man of God, I, I discovered that I concluded within my, myself that he was really a man of God and in fact the child of God. And so we are here to celebrate his life. We are here to thank God on behalf of him for what he has done in our blood. Uh, Pastor Joshua, Ajewale, what you know about him, what you can say about him, that we that are still living can emulate in Bible in our lives so that we too may live an extraordinary life of Christ that we live before he left. And so, uh, first of all, I will call friends, his friends. Any person among the friends that can testify to his life, what he has done. And secondly, I will call one of the family, then the old schoolmates, Methodist High School, old schoolmates, one of them will come out then. One of the wife of the family, uh, Yahweh Le, will testify to the character, things that we can learn and imbibe. The Lord bless us in the name of Jesus. I see the Lord will be with you in the name of Jesus. Yes, is there anyone from the friend, among the friends?
Coach J.D. Ram has always been a passionate helper of friends. I would, I would start it like that. He is very passionate about helping friends. And uh, even while we were children, the Lord has endowed him with this place to know the end point of the book we are making. He will say, he will say to me, the name by which I am doing is Isola. He will say, Isola, that way we are doing, we are not going to fall down there. Don't follow that. And when he entered the book, he will say, that will tell you, okay, come, this is how we get out of this problem. Okay, so I want to thank you for this opportunity. Yes, thank you. 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 Our relationship continues. I would say, uh, from the moment a child will have sight, we will say the intimacy was somehow, uh, was somehow dropped. We will see. We will not reconnect until many years after. Thank God to technology, ICT, and uh, we started this uh, convention of a uh, group chat, WhatsApp group chat. And we have gone, have gone for our class. We both graduated 1974 from Methodist High School. And we had gone for our, our set, the grad of 1974. And in that group, we, 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 the bonding was resumed. And the bonding was resumed with greater intensity. Uh, OJ Neman, as usual, is a man that is old helping others, particularly in the community. Yes, um, I would say two or three years ago, he sent a personal mail to me, he said, listen, let me, I want us to start something. We should start a foundation aimed at helping our colleagues, our friends, who are having problems, financial problems. So, do we manage the exact end of that foundation and how we handle the global End of it, and the uh, discussions were all like that. The discussions are not been going on. And each time uh, Pastor Nima comes to Lagos and he comes to Nigeria, we we'll make sure he visits every one of us who are discussing those, 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 those of us around, those of us in Lagos, those in the Bada, in the nation. I will say something in the game. So, we bring out something peculiar about Pastor Neman and the Holy. There is this humility about him. He doesn't, he doesn't carry his, uh, uh, his position, age, and everything around. I said he used to be the leader of the boys when we were children, who kids boys. And uh, even with his position in adult life, you know that this one man who is Humility personifies. And uh, he goes about everything he does quietly. He doesn't like on publicity. Whatever he did, he will do it effectively and silently like that. Um, we know, I'm aware that right now in Asia, there are certain projects in which my big brother, I can't say to call him big brother, that's Pastor uh, Dinan and Wali. I know that he was involved in certain projects, certain community development projects, and uh, I heard that he was he invested heavily in the rebuilding of the palace of our family ruler, the oh, Shadar, his palace. He was involved among the, the Shadar's and daughters who financed the rebuilding of that palace. That's number one. Number two, uh, I am fascinated about this other aspect. On our way to every time we could give, there used to be days who come back. And the people come back was told by you, he said, that the nations can be not civil, educational, or something like that. That place is now being converted into what is called as a therapeutic center. I asked my son, what do you want to be done He said, therapeutic. It's, it, it, it's, a, it, it's a hospital that is devoted to taking care of old persons, people who are aged. Just like we have pediatrics for, for children, we have pediatrics for adults. My big brother was actually involved in, in establishing that pediatric center. 
And if you come to Nigeria without visiting that center, you see, you evaluate the progress of work on the project. And as individuals, they are stored through many lives. This counseling, this guiding, this is providing financial assistance where there is need. That is as for him and as for him for you. We need to be not uh, passionate at this stage. Uh, well, I would say sentimental at this at, at, at this stage. The, 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 on the first day of the passion week this year, that, that was uh, is the Monday after the Monday after um, Sunday. He he he, he posted. The information on our group chat that he was arriving, that he had arrived in Nigeria, that was in Nigeria. When I saw that, I sent a private chat to the Pedigree Web. I had to move in the Nisha for the Easter break. And there and then, they arranged that we will meet. Unfortunately, most of the first when we go like that, we don't have enough time for many other things. I was so much occupied. In the larger family affairs, we thought that our initial agreement to be almost failed. That my big brother made sure that he did everything to locate me wherever I was. Wow. Finally, he said to me, and I didn't know that would be the last day of the meeting. He made sure of the day we were to come back to Lagos for the initial. Make sure we met at the police station, the police station, and we had lots of discussion talking about projects for our children, what they have to do, what we have to do, particularly we had about the legal practice, and, and we had a lot of advice for me. That is the thing I only for you. Yeah. He advised everybody that comes close to him, and he makes sure that you are bound to make it as long as you are associated with him. Thank you. Thank you so much. Put your hands together for the Lord. That is a robust biography of our, our father, Pastor Ajewa. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. Because of our time, I will only just give two, two minutes for anyone that wants to talk about our father today. From the family, is there anyone from the family? Much has been said about him. Yes, just for two minutes, come out of Thank you. Thank you. I said, no, 
that it should stay that what are we discussing that we cannot listen to. So when the question has said want to we'll take some um, work outside. So he left us. So we he told me so many things about our play we had before. When he how he started school late, when he finished that um, uh, my mom, because his own mother died early, so my mom is a junior sister, took over um, the work of her sister in the life of the, of the sister children. How my mom told him that uh, he should go and work, that uh, once somebody is more brilliant than him. And by the time result came, my mother was so surprised that the result was very good, and that was how he started school, and he was told to bring whatever he needs to school. And when she gave one, my mom, she did not reduce anything, gave him everything he requested for. That he was living like a king. It's called about my brother, how we were close, was two years his senior, but he always called him brother. And that was how three sets in Methodist school. They were like, they are the same set. There were so many things. So it was funny. When we started discussing what he actually called me for, and I just told him so many things. At the end of it all, I, I left. But before I left, he took my, I, I account statement, my, my, my details, account, I, account details. So when I got to home, I just sent him a message. I come back home, and he now sent he another message to me that thank God that you are you have reached home safely. Then he started telling me, I do not want to read everything out, but I was encouraged by all those things he wrote. Before I left, he advised me. He prayed for me, and I felt that prayer. When I told my brother, because he told me that he was so close to my dad, go and all that, and I told my dad, what happened? And I was said, yes, that I am not a man of God. So I'm really happy that he was in the Lord when he was with us. And besides that, the way and manner he presented, he presented things made me so free with him. I don't think I've ever talked with him really like that. But to top it all, I give God the glory that I did not postpone that meeting. If I had said it in the upper Sunday, that was how it would have gone on Thursday. We saw on Sunday, Monday, he sent a message to me. I replied to him. I thanked him for the gift he sent to my account. Um, I told him I would call him the following morning. Tuesday morning, we discussed. And for me to hear on Thursday, I was just saying, how? I was saying her ah, from that morning till evening because I did not even place it. But I thank God for his life. All glory be to glory God. To the name of the Lord. Thank you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes. Please, we want you to strictly adhere to the time giving. For some of this. One of the school days. We are four. Yes, thank you. Two minutes, please, ma'am. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. My name is Very Reverend Odunati Thompson of Methodist Church. I, myself, and uh, Pastor Nino, and uh, our brother that spoke at first, we were all classmates. I met him for the first time in 1970, January, when we entered Methodist High School. And we were together for the four and a half years we spent in secondary school when we left in June 1974. After which, we all went a different ways, only for us to come back about five, six years ago with this was happening. And then the way he presented himself, very humble. He is a bit older than all of us that were his classmates. He's older than us, but he's always very humble and very passionate about people. He, he keeps coming on helping people and he will never stop helping. He's always helping. He's always helping. One of our classmates that was sick, if you see the way he took it over himself, I mean, you'll be surprised. He is a very good person. And we want to console ourselves with that Bible passage that says, Amu Olododolo, Shadi Ojoi. 
And that is why we have come to thank God that we are celebrating his life today. Praise the Lord. Thank you so much. Bless you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes. From the family. Thank you, sir. I thought that uh, my sister that spoke did not touch a few things and not had to say. I normally call him Oye. Oye, I call him Oye. After some time, because I have twins and he also has twins, he used to call me Yabeji and I will refer to him also as Ababeji. So we are no longer calling ourselves names. Yabeji, Ababeji, that and that. Where we are blessing each other. The one thing that I want to mention or say about him is this. As we have asked, what are they telling you? Even before Oyenino went to secondary school and uh, pre marriage, right after things were getting in shape, he said he wants to immortalize his mother's name that we should set up a foundation for that. That's my brother, Mr. Ajay Labi. He's the one that did all the necessary papers to set up that foundation. The Baker, Ajay Baitola, Ajay Wale Foundation. And he received financial of that foundation. And with that foundation, we are sent so many family children through their education, both on the mother's side and on the father's side. And apart from the education, we, we finance people that did uh, uh, did uh, what are you, that went to learn few things, maybe K3, maybe whatever to do freedom and provide the necessary equipment, necessary needed for those uh, things. That foundation will finance it. When we know that the parents are not for it. It's meant to assist those people whose parents are not for it. It is the chief financier. Secondly, at least twice a year, we will send money that we should distribute to the needy in the family. Once I receive the money, I will tell you, because we are three, myself, Mr. Ajelabi, and Baba Abedi, we normally share information. I will tell him I receive social amount from Baba Abedi. He will suggest some names, and we ask some names, and the money will be distributed accordingly. At least twice a year, for the family members. We really appreciate him and we miss him. Thank you. We are praying God will give us another day. Amen. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes, finally, from the family too, uh, Yawole, one of the Yawoles. Two minutes, please. Sorry. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Thank you very much, sir. Um, because of brevity of time, I would like to mention just three things about Uncunion. I call him Uncunion. Yene. He's my, yes, I refuse to call words. So I still believe he's, he's, the spirit is with us. He is my cousin in law. And I knew him in 1983. What can we learn from the life of Uncle So many said, one to more on three. Uncle Nino was a great son, a great grandson, a great nephew. No wonder all the testimony that I've given. I would say this, that's because his mother, they were so close to the mother to death. If Akunina comes to Nigeria today and he gets to Malaysia, the first place to visit is the mother's grave to call homage. And no 
not only honored, he did practically to show that he loved his mother. Mention anything to of he is ever prepared. Oh, is it that app? Is it this? Is them telling you what together in Malaysia or this with and we have only been to ever since 93, all through the map that they shared the two. That's one. Number two, I think Nigeria has lost an industrial son and a great economist. An international rapid that we shouldn't have lost, but who are we to play the world? If you listen to Unira's discussion on community level, we English and daughters and sons, we have some platform, development, and all stuff. We will really want to discuss intelligently, internationally. And you cannot fault his fact and his knowledge. You will wonder whether he actually invited the intellectual or the pastoral work. But he combined the two. By the time he combined Bible and knowledge, you know you're a great one. He demonstrated that clearly. And if there's any loss, he just has lost a, a song for the glory of God. The third one that I would like to mention is the development of nation. As if he knew he wasn't going to hear a tumor, he developed people. I remember even when I went to drag my feet back on the platform, he said, Mama, if there, he wasn't coming like me, he didn't go to school. He said, Mama, if there, we are not seeing you on the platform. Come on, get up. No wonder his wife, he took the wife from just uh, the nurse or midwife here, and he made him have to have him a master of a degree in nursing. And by authority, the wife is an authority in the US. Not only that, by the time you visit them in the US, you see the caliber and the people that Okunuma has brought up, either in Indonesia or in Yoruba, or even internationally, you would talk about that. Indeed, the Lord has sent everyone here to live for us to learn, for us to copy, for us to emulate. We give glory to you. Thank you for it. Thank you. Put your hands together for the Lord. Yes, I believe we have learned to one thing or the other on the life of uh, our beloved brother and father. And uh, I pray that the grace to live our life to this Christ and for humanity, the Lord will give unto us the name of Jesus. Amen. God bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. As we are sitting down to the table, we are going to listen to the choir for the administration. God bless you. Praise the living Jesus. Amen. Give you up all for Jesus. Hope you all still there for Jesus. Can I go to the book in Psalm 60?
into the presence of the Almighty God. I want to thank those of us who are passionately and completely chosen to come and celebrate our brother who has gone ahead of us. And in a special way, I want to thank our Father in the Lord. Very, very good friend, Sunday Thomas. You're welcome, sir. You are still going to be able 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 to be So welcome all of us to this great gathering. We will pray that God that we are chosen to honor and our brother we are chosen to celebrate that same God will bless all of us in the name of Jesus. Yes, we welcome the first Apostolic Church, the headquarters of the first region, Mosu Amongsu Lord. Thank God for your love, thank God for this garden, and thank God for the men and women who have mobilized all that you are to ensure that this program is a success. Go on you. I say go on you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. This is about Eight days ago, our Father and the Lord, the Regional Superintendent of the U.S. and Canada, that's our Father Pastor, our brother, Timothy, our brother, our brother, our brother, our brother, our brother, our brother, so something happened to a colleague in Nigeria, and in a little all that had transpired. He now told me that some very close members of the family and men and women of God who knew this man of God when he was about to come to the and celebrate it. He said, please, I come to the and I said, ah, can you give me an instruction? I will say no. That was how I answered him. So, he now arranged that one of the pastors who has also traveled, who traveled on Tuesday for this same purpose in the US, he came with our money. It is our money. We didn't even care to introduce one and sell it our own and for another. Mommy came and uh, she opened up the discussion and behold, the result, the result of the discussion is what we are saying now. Thank God for a man of our mama and that. A wonderful administrator. Mm. She asked me that she go into bringing people together, people that have never met. And then now we are meeting in the presence of somebody who knows all of us. I pray that all continent to bless the family, bless the wonderful Methodist Church, and bless those who have come to celebrate the man who is no longer with him over there. And the Lord give us together to receive him in the name of Jesus. You are welcome. You are allowed people to come up to give testimony because this is and as the other people have so programs to have been organized yesterday so that we would have accommodated more people who would have moved to testify to whatever we knew about our home. But this kind of service that is exclusively or essentially for two hours, that's no good to have satisfied everybody. So if we would have moved to say something and time does not allow you, Please don't be annoyed in our all. Please just accept us the way it is. I pray that the Lord will honor all of you in the name of Jesus. The only thing I, I don't know how to say about it is that I wonder why I missed meeting here. Because the year I left secondary school or the same year, I left secondary school in the I don't think that that was a football player. Was he a football player? Uh, if he was a football player, we should have met somehow, somehow, only football field. Yes, I will be very somehow. As soon as the year was mentioned, I can tell you the football captain of our team is second from the schools in Lagos. And then, um, yes, yes, sir. I should be talking about the Shahu of Akakuma's high school. I should be talking about the Ujami, African general school also. I don't, I don't think I was even forgetting that if I did a dangerous time. <laughs> Each of these ones ended up in the professional uh, teams somewhere in America. 
And I wonder why he didn't see who this was not planned with you. Well, thank God we are now spiritually meeting and we are getting to a place where we will pass no longer. So you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome, you're welcome. Shall we listen to what God has to say as we pray? Thank you, Jehovah God, in the name of Jesus. Your actions are not your fault. They can't even be free because you don't want any human being and explanation. If you decided to take somebody away at five years, who will call you? And if you are chosen to make somebody leave another one 20 years, what is our problem? Thank you, Lord, for your life that our daddy, our brother, spent here and yet. Thank you for them who made that world. God sits in the influence. And thank you, Lord, for those of us who are here, who will not just read the Bible, who have also had this life to read. Thank you, Lord, for what we learn from what we have read in the Bible and from what we have seen in the life of our brother, who has also served as an epistle to be read by men. Take all the glory, O God, in the name of Jesus. Now we are here. He is permanently absent from here. The totally present where he should be. Help us, O God, to have a longing. To be permanently present with you in your presence in the name of Jesus. Ah, you will help us, O God. Thank you, O God. For while we are here, this kind of a service is also going on in the US. As many as I will, I will be listening to you over there, as many of us as are here as well, people are not in the Lord. We want to be at the bosom of our Savior and our Creator in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Jehovah, for we pray in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I say amen. Yes. Thank God for the lesson that was read. I'm coming up with one subject to discuss very briefly. It says, we are not citizens here, but heaven is better. You are citizenship, but where is better? If you are giving two things, one is good and one is better, which one you will pick? Yeah. Two things. And you are not compelled to pick them up there. And you are given two things. And you are convinced of the quality. You are convinced of the value. You are convinced of the relevance. Which one are you to pick? They went anywhere. You are citizen, too. But everyone is better. When one of my daughters was wedding some years ago, I saw what I have never seen in action before. By the time the man of God that was bringing them together and he completed his blessings, and this day and the other one were to come up for Thanksgiving, said, so, Look. We now want to say bye bye to Pachi Lobu. And the young girl who was married had something to throw to those of them who came with her. I'm sure you understand that. Who are they? Spencers. Ah, it's a new something. Spencers. And they said, Well, I am saying bye 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 to Spencer <laughs> And you are about nine who are going to celebrate me. I am going to throw this. Whoever gets his friends will marry first. My brothers and fathers in the Lord, you needed to be there to see the desperation. Everybody, everybody wanted it first. It was like a photo. They didn't really look at the faces of one another. I don't know what would transpire after the tapis must have ended because it was like somebody was in jail in an attempt to have it. If I have a question now, who wants to be the number one to go and meet our brother where he is? <laughs> that one, <I> wow. <laughs> who is that person who loves you so much? Who is that person who believes so much in where he has gone to? And he said, please, oh, please, oh, let me just let me go and follow him. 
dual citizenship, but heaven is better. Thank God for the scriptures. It doesn't matter what you are passing through. It doesn't matter whether you are a philosopher. It doesn't matter whether you are so technical in the use of languages. The Bible is the Bible. Thank God for men and women that have been used to unfold the mind of God. No error. Let us go to the back. Second Corinthians chapter 5. If we are going to refer to any other verses of the Bible at all, it will be verses that speak the same thing. Verses of the Bible that say the same thing. Oh. There is not everybody that has that kind of knowledge and conviction. He was talking about Christians. Those who have become converted, those who have understood God, those who have heaven and their focus, even though they are here on earth. We know. We know. We know. We know. We know. Is it everybody that has that knowledge? And after this place, there is somebody, there is somewhere. There is not everybody. Even those of us in the church, there is not everybody that believes that. After here, there is a place that is better. How can you say another place is better than UK? How can you say another place is better than Mali? How can you say another place is better than even South African countries where they say seven wonders of the world? And they take you to some places you begin to wonder, God, how did you do it? Hanging flower and other rights. But this one says, we know that the need for us to know what we need to know. That the need for us to know who we need to know. We know that if our earthly hands of this tabernacle were destroyed. So this one recognizes the fact that we are in the world now and we have a body that is not forever. Verse 1. But we know that if our earthly house of this tabernacle were dissolved, we have the building of God, a house made with, and a house not made with hands, eternal and the heavens. So this body it doesn't matter how it is decorated, it doesn't matter the expensive dresses that are put on it, congratulations, depending on what your pocket has to say. He says, we know this can be destroyed, this can be mutilated, this can be involved in so many things that will make it look destroyed. And we know that we have something better than Remember, we're saying, well, citizen, citizen, citizen. It's not talking about three countries now. And you know before you have this kind of US citizenship in this present generation, I'm not a buyer. I'm not an immigration officer. You go and find out from that. Otherwise, you can be, you can be accused of uh, criminality, forgery, and all the rest. If you are not naturalized, if you are not nationalized, if you don't have, if you don't pass through the process, you cannot claim, claim two years to do worship. Whether you claim it or not, we are designed for that. Because of what happened in the Garden of Eden. The first uh, Garden of Eden was not. Another one is somewhere that is being prepared by God in heaven. It says, we know if each one is dissolved, either this physical body or even our houses, if they are dissolved, we have something better over there. Not made with hands. Thank God for engineers. Thank God for all the artisans that have been involved in the construction of whatsoever. Even when they have done their best, there is somewhere better. There are some things that are better. Let's say that those men and women who have understood this, because whatsoever happens to them here on earth, uh -huh, politically, uh -huh, economically, uh -huh, culturally, because they know they are here and here for a time. So they are always anticipating, they are always longing, they are always looking for that which is not promised by man. So cannot be hindered, cannot even be beautified by man. They know that. Remember that? You are citizens that heaven is better. Verse number two. Because of that knowledge, we grow now. We grow. 
I say no, no. Enough is enough. Enough of my generalization. Enough of manipulation. Enough of deprivation. And that professionally otherwise. It grew. Ah! Even when we think we are not the best. Even when we think we are working in the best nations of the world and we have the best opportunities. Inside of what can we be a good If we have understood the fact that we are men and women of two. Here, temporary. Here, with limitations. Here, with incredible diseases. It doesn't matter how much we are spending on medical. Because here is not the final. Here is not the ultimate. This is the other day, and we are going to be misunderstood. Free food, free health, free service to pay their school fees and other help. And it, it never means to want to tell them regularly. Hey, uh, my kingdom is not here. Oh. Even when you think you have got the best opportunity from me, even when you have got the feelings of the Holy Ghost and you cannot do some other thing, my kingdom is not here. Implication. The, the better. If you like, the best. The super. The other of us are not going to be here. Already brief. It talks about militant church. It talks about triumphant church. We will still continue to weep as long as we are here. That brother no longer weeps. I don't know if you weep at all. Maybe you will be weeping for me, weeping for you. Ah! I wish the brother would not be careless about his life and destiny. If he has any reason to weep at all, no longer for himself. And remember what Christ came to what? On some occasions, when they saw some things he was passing through, they would be weeping. They would be to them. They don't know what that You better weep for yourself. Weep for yourself. I am doing that which I am destined to come and do. Weep for yourself. It is not the devil that is in control. It is not cultural problems that are in control. It is not the errors of whosoever that is in control. I am doing what I should be doing so that you can get to where you are supposed to be. Remember, well, see, 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 then heaven is better. How many of us are going to be there? And that's the question. If you want to travel to America in the next three months, your mind would have been there before you got there. Two of us. Officially, you have to pass through some procedures. Mm -hmm. Whether you like it or not, you some procedures. So, when you are still here, your mind is already you know, figuring what happens when eventually you are dead. Anybody who is not thinking about heaven will not be there by chance. You can't be there by chance. It's for those who have understood that if they have understood this reality, it's for those who are watching their clothes every day to make the blood of Jesus Christ. It's for those who will be like Daniel in wherever they are positioned that they are not ready to be tainted by the temporary things of the world. Nobody can get to heaven by chance. You can't get to heaven by chance. A prepared place for a prepared people. That's it. Prepared place for a prepared People. And that's why Pastor Paul, Pastor Paul was writing to the Corinthians, just like we are going to confirm for what he wrote to the Philippians. We know that whatsoever is happening to our body now, we know whatsoever is happening to, happening to us now, we know that is somewhere, that is somewhere, that is somewhere that is better. If you like to become the president of any nation, if you like to be given the best opportunity in her, and not from her. If you like to become the person that finances everything that happens in Nigeria, which means it may appear as if you don't need anything again, we are saying the best is over there. If people in the world will not appreciate this part, Christians should appreciate it. He says, when well, this we go, honestly growing, honestly desiring, in my own, in my own Bible, if the word honestly is not in, it's not in, included, you still make sense. And well, that is to tell us <laughs> their passion. You know, we can be like a person about the way we pursue some things. Don't think if you don't think you wanted to write uh, this year or so. Every Saturday, you will be in the classroom. Nobody has asked you to be in the classroom. 
Well done, great. You want to sufficiently prepare for, for the exam. Passion, 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 passion. But today we handle so many things with liberty. And you won't be sitting there anymore. Yeah. You see so much and uh, you are being completed uh, negatively by what you have sung to people. You see what I'm going to If I don't know what people are here, he has become one of those who have received the grace of God to to win and is expecting us. I pray that the Lord God will help him because of his faith in God and because of his residence in quality will also help us in the name of Jesus. Remember I had the question. Paloka. If you were to follow him to the airport, he did a great man and he was to go back to the US. What would be the last word? But I remember going now with him. He would say, if you have never been there, he would have told him, please so you have an opportunity to invite me. And I thought what I was saying, Pastor, I don't worry. In case you're going to have a question, how many are ready to go? Please mention my name. How many are going to go there? You will not go before your family in the name of Jesus. I said you will not go before your time in the name of Jesus. For not to be in that better place, you will be going in now. Inside of you, we do have money, 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 we if it's not everybody that has that kind of conviction, it's not only everybody that has that kind of anticipation. So you cannot use it the same, even if you are in the same job. Even if you are in the same department in your job. Ah, you know where you are going. You know somebody is respecting you now. Somebody came about 2,000 years ago and said, ah, my kingdom is not here, but I will go there to provide a place for you. For it to be easy for you to get there, I will send a comforter. Oh, Continue to assist you when there are challenges. You want to do this issue? Yes, everyone is here. In this we go to pass through. Honestly design, honestly, 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 passionately, sincerely. Not because it's unfortunate, because we are unfortunate, not because so many people are crying around us, not because uh, we are not prepared to become who we wanted to become here or there. Because we don't know what the end is better, permanent. Better, permanent. No sexual discrimination. No educational disadvantage. You are there, you are there forever. In the presence of your people, in the presence of it that came about 2,000 years ago to establish a kingdom and to give us a foretaste, a deposit of his spirit in that world. We will not be the place in the name of Jesus. That's number three. If so be that we be clothed, we shall not be found naked. In preparation, we want to be there. Again, the verse 4. For we that are in this tabernacle do grows limitations, financial limitations, health, health limitations, educational limitations, political limitations, even limitations in the house of God sometimes, and most of the time. All this we know. But, <laughs> We know you are citizenship, citizenship, the place is better. Consolation. It is more than that. We are telling us what the creator has in mind. We are telling us what the owner has in mind. My brother over there has understood it better than all of us now. Ah, wow. Don't tell me what I do. Wow, 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 Are you a politician? That is why when you sit in your political meeting, everything has been said, endorsement, everybody needs to endorse. Inside of you, remember, hey! Somewhere better, and you have been expected. Are you a big, successful man here in Lagos or all over the world? Occasionally, one financial transaction has to be signed. When you are going into contracts and all the rest, something should suggest to you, oh boy, oh mama, softly, softly, you. I've been a waiter. 
Look at all the opportunities that God has given to our brother and the Lord. Where did he have to go? He pleased the owner. As long as he was here, he was absent physically. As a child of God, because he will be thinking about the place, he will be groaning in, in, groaning in heart all over. Most of the time, he is spiritually present, but physically, pre, uh, uh, physically absent. As we are here now, if you are a child of God, you are physically absent over there. But most of the time, you should be thinking about the place. You should be thinking about the place. And I ask unto them and do something. Are you ready? Travel to your room now, in a minute and come back. Think about your room now. Think about your bed. Members of the choir, Look at the environment where you pass the night. <laughs> if anybody is on head as a child of God, who is not seriously thinking about them, others in the Lord will be there because you will be Lord, you will be fascinated, you will be attracted, you will be disintegrated, you will be dislocated by the temporary things of the world. That will not be your portion in the name of the Lord. He, and he that has brought us for the same same thing is God, who also has given us the endless of the of the spirit deposit you know on conversion the Holy Ghost is put in you the Holy Ghost comes into you so when you pray for Holy Spirit Holy Spirit and Holy Spirit and power Holy Spirit comes into your hand on conversion I didn't say on the day of empty partition I didn't say it come to you because you are Arrogantly partaking of the only communion when you know that as, there are some things that ordinarily should have prevented you. Very unconversion, it doesn't, they, doesn't matter when you are converted. I wish I would see my brother, I would give testimony. I was not converted throughout my years in secondary school. But I only got converted 74 after secondary school and I got to a man. CAC only learning. Just learning is on this good lesson. The man of God was teaching us. Not much of drama, but I was fine in here. They talk and talk. I didn't know when I began to weep. Anything that will make you weep, when you hear the word of God, anything that will make you be prepared to obey God, that is the spirit of God. It's a deposit. Which must be assisted, which must be allowed to grow inside of God. That is what this man is saying in Bad Park. He says, We know we have limitations. We know. We have so many things that are challenging us here on there. But we also know that place is better. Thank God you have understood that and you have come up with a deposit of the spirit inside of all. So if you have the spirit and you have been praying for the power that normally that the spirit normally you are in that is not how you will not be thinking about this. Here is not such thing. Now it's no sure. It doesn't matter who you are here, yeah? you have your limitation. But we're talking about a place where there is no time, no time, no challenges, no and you have to make the 37 days. Bili bili. <laughs> Nothing like that over there. Celebration the Lord. And the presence of Jehovah God. God said we are diversity and our diversity to have been permanently stored forever. Do I see this issue? But you must be a native of that place now. Who is only living temporarily here? You must be a native of that place. You must be thinking about place. You must be cloning. You must be on the inside of you. Come with me. May the Lord help us to live our lives like that in the name of Jesus. Amen. Ah, but uh, now we that have brought all of our self-saving in this God, who has also given all the earnest of the spirit, the deposit is lost. The deposit of God, which is the spirit. Holy Ghost, which is the spirit of God. He said, I have him. I'm beside him in him. I want to assist him. Things that ordinarily is going be very difficult for a kind man. He facilitates. He makes it easier, right? He's brilliant. Of our own, there's nothing we can do. Of our own, we cannot try. When you see some religious people, they can fast more than you do. When you see some religious people, they can go to the tongue. Hey, singing for power. How many of us have been going to be the two times per week? Maybe you can't take it. You go to my 
We went for him on the evangelism some times ago, and somebody met us on the way. They wanted to try one of these uh, for this to do with the reward. That was said for us, I was going to give him a class. He gave me something to the professor and brought a child. As he was going to knock the young man, the young man who was by far too young to stand like the man who was coming from the door. He said, We need the name of Jesus. And we need it. But the life of we need it. He gave you a joy. And he began to move. And how are you moving? He said, I've been by the tomb for seven days. So this morning when I saw a young boy, as soon as I saw a young boy, so I was talking about you, I said, All right, this is the best place for me to, to test my power. He tested it and made it. People like that, you come across them in your offices. People like that, you call upon them, even in the ministry. With this kind of regard, they are, you better watch as you get so close unto them. And the Spirit of God is to help us to overcome this. That is for those who have become combated. For those who continue to cleanse their body with the blood of Jesus Christ, who continue to remember that, thank God for the opportunities here. Bet. And now what people say, no worry. Bet. <laughs> That place is the better. If Jesus that you are saying, don't know, in the same way, he will come back. That cannot be frustrated. That cannot even be postponed. It doesn't matter whether people don't believe they are said it, they will do it. After all, his first coming was also wonderfully prophesied. He came and people did not believe that the prophecy was being fulfilled. I pray that that will not be a question in the name of Jesus. Amen. What do we now do? Number one. We walk by faith. We do what? Faith in the word of God. Faith in the one who has spoken. Faith in the one who ascended, who also descended. Who descended into the grave, who also ascended into heaven. We need faith in him. Whatsoever he has said cannot be halted. It doesn't matter the level of technology. It doesn't matter the level of education. Whatsoever you say in the Bible, the principles will walk in any part of the world. He said we are confident. That we have it. We are confident that we will, we will see it. To be in the presence of Jesus, hmm. it is better experienced than the Christ. Go and learn from Moses. How many hours did God you know, go into discussion with him? Briefly, that became. Get us separate from such in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever we are not seeing, that will make able to elude us. Father, separate us from such in the mighty name of Jesus. For the widow of our dear brother and pastor. Father, grant her the grace to bear this incredible loss. Let your Holy Spirit keep our ministry to her in the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for the children left behind. Father, this crucial time in their life. We pray that help of that sinning will arise for them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Their purpose in life will not be forfeited in the mighty name of Jesus. Anytime they think about their father, father of fathers, father we pray, surround them with help in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Their glory will not be truncated. Their glory will not be cut short. Their glory will not be cut short. The aspiration will be granted. Amen. At this crucial time, we pray for the children. Father, raise them up. Amen. Raise them up. Amen. Raise them up. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. We pray for the family of the seeds. No care and expanded. Father, console them. Amen. Console them. Amen. Anytime you think about our brother, your whole servant, Holy Spirit will never depart from them. In the mighty name of Jesus. We pray for ourselves. It's for the just and why. We are here temporarily. And we brought nothing. We cannot take any time of this world. Grace to realize this at our property in our action and behavior. Father, grant unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. The message that pass across us during this era of your servant. Father, we pray we never stand against us in the day of judgment in the mighty name of Jesus. Either devil like it or not, 
will not miss heaven. Either they will like it or not, heaven will not elude us. Thank you, Jehovah God. We pray for those who travel from far distance to this important service. By the time you are returning, mercy of God will attend to you. And I know will not be your portion. Every blood shocking spirit on your way shall be roasted by Jesus Christ. We pray, shall paralyze. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah God. Blessed be your holy name. Hallelujah. We commit your servant who we have used this morning to feed us on nine with ten days. We are asking for sufficient grace, unction to be more functioning for that grace upon his ministry. Amen. Daily anointing needed and required to make a greater excellence for you in this kind of assignment will not be certain. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Please, the Bible says, wherever two or three are gathered in my name, I am dear in the midst of my name. Let's pray for those that I want to go. Louder. Louder. Put your hands together for Jesus and be seated in the presence of the most high God. We want to have a relationship with the statue of peace and shout one mighty hallelujah. You are most welcome. I wish I knew no one doubt. And we want to recognize the entire family members of the of both their family members. If you are seated, stand to your feet and shout one mighty hallelujah. And so continue to rest in peace in Jesus' name. Yes, we want to recognize the family members of the Adjebole family. On behalf of the children of the United States, the wife and the entire family members, those here and the U.S. please stand to your feet and shout to Almighty Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Amen. I appreciate you. I want to for this. Members of the high school alumni of the Methodist High School. Please, wherever you are seated, stand to your feet and shout to Almighty Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Let this week continue to conform and consume you all to Jesus' name. And members of the University of the Bible, Amen. Please, wherever you are seated, the congregation stand to your feet and shout to Almighty Hallelujah. Amen. Let us recognize the presence of the friends of the Holy Church, glorious qualities, and shout to one mighty hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We want to recognize Peter of the Chancellor, the presence of Pastor Michael Albert. Please stand your feet and shout to one mighty hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We want to recognize the presence of Pastor Eber of Nigeria. Please stand your feet and shout to one mighty hallelujah. We yeah. yeah, want to recognize the presence of Pastor Gabriel and your David this time to feet and shout for Almighty Hallelujah. We yeah, also want to recognize the presence of Pastor ST of Baba this time to feet and shout for Almighty Hallelujah. Uh, what was is the very reverend man of God? Very Reverend Sunday Johnson of the Methodist Cathedral of Blessing here in Palm Avenue. He's time to bring us up. The world of sir. I want to shout one mighty hallelujah. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! And uh, last but not the least is our Father in the Lord, the Samona, the Yes, we got a superintendent, Pastor Esco, and the Thank you. That's good. The Bible says in all things we should give thanks to God for this is the perfect way of God for us. And as we thank God for the life much spent of our brother, father, uncle, grandfather, Pastor Joshua and Joe we pray that the soul will continue to rest in peace in Jesus' name. Uh, this is the order.
Father, in Jesus' name. Yeah. Eternal Rock of Ages, we are thankful unto you because you are God and beside you there is none. May your name and your name alone continue in all the days of our life. We praise you in Jesus' name. Amen. It's a token of our appreciation for the life and strength of your beloved servant, Pastor Joshua Jehole. We pray that his soul will continue to rest in peace in Jesus' name. Amen. Here with the family, console the children, the wives, in the mighty name of Jesus. And so the church members, in the mighty name of Jesus. Every family that is believed, we pray that you will console and comfort them in Jesus' name. We ask you to sanctify the offering in Jesus' name. We replenish as many that has given in the mighty name of Jesus. We then that blood be a great provider in Jesus' name. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Uh, please, this car should please go and I can't find you. I just hope you. I can't find 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 you. So the next, in the order of this program, is a vote of thanks. I have the privilege to call upon our Father and the Lord, Pastor Oladich. Oladjo. Welcome, sir. Uh, when the discussion was on, yeah, yeah, our brother, our uncle, our father, sat in the midst of Stacy, and we felt it a great honor to make sure the program holds in CAC, one of the parishes. And uh, the feedback we got, the cooperation, the acceptance, is on measure. So a big thank you. The choir, the ministers, God bless you all. Um, we also feel that it's very important that um, we cannot just live without having a small service for our brother who has impacted us severally, um, individually, collectively, and we felt though in about six hours or so we will be having this service in U.S. Boston, we felt it would be nice for us to call a meeting service a memory of our brother. And I must say, every one of us, family members, we have defiled the rain and we ensured we came in here this morning. I must say a big thank you. And our prayers are that um, we will all live long. Amen. Much, much more than 71. Amen. And we will live our years in pleasantness. Amen. And we trust that um, he has been of the many service to our family. We trust that God will raise many more of such our brother and uncle, father, even in our midst. Amen. Once again, thank you to everyone that has made this happen. God bless us all. The service of our father, Pastor Joshua Ajewole.
because of God's widow. I mean, especially when we are all glad to follow the Lord. But I'm very reverend Sunday. Johnson, you welcome the Lord, bless you. The families of our brother, who have gone over there, thank you for having the conviction to come and celebrate the one who is a prophet. I was a the prophet. On your own, the men and women that have been strategically located will be available to celebrate you. They will be available to continue to cancel whosoever is left behind Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. You will have more than this. Father, in the name of Jesus, we have gone out for your beloved ones. We have been able to do that when you give us the grace to give the glory of God. That all the perfections will be perfected by your spirit in our hearts and our lives. In the name of Jesus. We need to remember the members of the family of the departed, the wife, the children. Give on the house of God in the name of Jesus. Yeah. And wherever they are living over there, the grace for them to continue in the same spirit, with the same passion and compassion of their father. Of the man of God, give unto the members of the family so that there will be no babu in the name of Jesus. Amen. As the church, you will have all. Help Methodist church, help CC church, we will to continue to be relevant in, in your kingdom of we have in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah God. Amen. If it is time to take any of us away, may you give us the grace never to be saved in the name of Jesus. Amen. And if you come through rapture, Lord, we pray, we will not be left behind in the name of Jesus. Amen. But the grace will be upon us. Amen. This week, next week, before the end of the month, you will receive divine intervention in your life. Amen. And you will thank God for you available in this program. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah God, for you keep up beyond our expectations. Since we have prayed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. In the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, Amen. the love of God, Amen. and the superiority of the Holy Spirit, be upon us, sustain us, keep us going, and Him, for Him, through Him, to the end of our lives. In Jesus' mighty name, we have a praise. Amen. 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 Amen.